The oceans and lagoons hide the secrets and creatures so bizarre that they have terrified human beings since the beginning of our history on this planet here, right? In today's video, you're going to meet some of the fish, or shall we say, the darkest creatures that exist on our list of sea creatures. So it's good to prepare yourself, especially if you already have a certain fear of getting into the water. You know, don't subscribe to forget. Leave that like, comment, and come with me, because I'm Tiago Tadeo, and welcome to the Upside Down. Sheep's Head When we're there watching that little horror movie, we usually tend to be much more scared by monsters that don't even appear on screen than movies in which we can see the enemy right there. Right? Always what is hidden generates much more fear. A clear example of this was the resounding success of the film as Paranormal Activity and also the Blair Witch Project. In fact, if you've seen any of them, tell me down here. This feeling of anguish which, although nowadays we kind of experience through movies, is something that is much more ancestral than you might think, okay? The idea of that silent creature that you'll only realize is coming to attack you when it's too late is a collective dread of humanity. And it's no wonder, because in nature, we have creatures like the sheep's head fish, an animal that is found mainly in the Gulf of Mexico and the North Atlantic Ocean. A curious fact is that there are very sought after fish by the global fishing market, but they come with a completely unexpected factor for those who look at it from afar, right? That's because when you open their mouth, they reveal a dental arch that is very reminiscent of ours. Literally, it's a human-like dental arch, which makes them terribly uncomfortable to look at. Leave a comment saying if you also felt a little affliction when you saw this. But its beyond bizarre story doesn't stop at the dental arch. That's because in the coastal regions where this species usually lives, there are legends about a witch who would live there under the water and curse people through her bites. Which were most likely unexpected attacks from this fish that bit people and made it look like someone else's bite. Surely anyone would be scared to have a scar with that dental arch. Serpent Shark Serpent sharks look like creatures that came from someone's very imaginative nightmare, see? Anyway, the serpent shark will at the very least leave a little mark in your memory, right? They are considered true living fossils. That is, they are the only descendants of a family of sharks that literally lived in the Jurassic period. Yeah, we're talking about a shark that competed with dinosaurs for space and prey and was one of the only species in its family to survive to this day. What granted them their name is this hunting habit they have, where they lower their body temperature on purpose, resembling reptiles. However, what draws attention to them are their teeth, right? Since they carry over 300 of them. They are positioned in a way that looks like several razors lined up. However, the factor that works on our side is that they are small, not having the size of a prehistoric shark like the Megalodon. But even so, they are still nightmare fuel for sure, right? Since these teeth were made to pierce the meat in a perfect way. Which means, if one of these sticks to your skin, oh, you can say goodbye, okay? The tear will be huge. Goblin Shark Continuing on this list of sharks, since this is a species that will always be present on any list that involves water and fear, right? The next one we're going to talk about is neither a goblin nor a shark, but a mix of the two. He has appeared here on the channel before, and if you follow the much older videos, you are aware. But if you're coming here now or just don't remember him, relax, okay? I will tell you everything. We're talking about a shark with a face reminiscent of a goblin from fantasy stories and folklore legends as well. It lives in very deep water and has a slight detail there that you will notice it very well. It's basically a jaw that juts out towards its prey, guys. That's right, the fish is running away from the shark, thinking it's managing to escape, when suddenly, its mouth comes and moves forward. No, gives a sort of jump, right? It leaves there and goes. It's weird, bizarre, right? Well, just watching him do it in a video clip is already so unsettling. Imagine coming face to face with an animal like that. It's best to not, right? 
box jellyfish. Another animal that has terrorized the seas throughout centuries of our history are the box jellyfish, also known as the death bubbles. This is a species of jellyfish that has the ability to give a painful sting like no other. However, in this case, we are talking about a poison so intense that it is capable of ending the life of a healthy adult human before he even manages to get out of the water. It's serious, guys. In many cases of jellyfish attacks like that, people end up being, well, victims of drowning, right? Especially because when it touches it, it causes muscle paralysis, something like that anyway. Eventually, the person doesn't make it out alive. Another detail, note that I said sting earlier, and well, if you're wondering if that's the correct term, apparently it is, okay? In case you didn't know, jellyfish have a series of microscopic stingers in their tentacles that act as a kind of syringe to introduce their venom. It's not a burn, because that fish doesn't generate electricity, so it won't burn. And yes, they are little stingers there with this toxin. So, when we touch them, we activate a nervous sensor that contracts the inner walls of the tentacles, causing these little stingers or spurs to be projected like needles. It's like you're attacked by several microscopic bees at once. And in the case of box jellyfish in particular, this sting still comes with a special touch of death. Oh, and a detail about this story that will scare you even more. In fact, box jellyfish is the name of a family of jellyfish, all of which are considered extremely poisonous. So don't even insult one of them, otherwise you're going to insult a whole family, you know? Leviathan Well, my dears, no creature will match in terms of fear than the great legendary monsters of the sea. Like, for example, Leviathan. According to its mythological legends, the Leviathan would be a marine creature that formed when volcanoes met the oceans, giving life to an unimaginable monster. It is believed that in the past, this colossal monster roamed the oceans and was responsible for several violent massacres of crews, where the few lucky survivors of course had the opportunity to report to others how the attack of that creature was. To give you an idea, the Leviathan is such an ancient creature that it even appears in biblical texts. Although the Leviathan is considered a legendary creature, there is no specimen found to prove its existence, making it still part of speculative archaeology. We still have some theories that collaborate with the probable existence of this colossal monster. The main one being that Leviathan could be a living fossil of a Mosasaurus, and that there could be some of them still living in the Mesopotamian region when humanity began to explore the open sea. So, the attack stories would have been moments where these literal dinosaurs would have attacked boats, probably imagining it was food or something. Well, what about you? What do you think of leviathans? They must be huge and scare anyone, right? Nin Yen Another legendary creature that humanity speculates is living in the oceans is the Nin Yen. I'm not talking about just anybody, see? A being that appeared mainly in stories told by Japanese fishermen. If you noticed there, I said Nin Yen, right? You said, uh, this guy is fluent in Japanese. But no, the story is... Never mind, it's just a joke, right? I don't even read that much about it. Well, in these reports, they described the terrifying encounter with an aquatic creature, which had arms, legs, and looked like a human being, with the resemblance that went up to the fingers, okay? However, according to them, the darkest thing about this creature were their faces, since they also resemble our species, despite having much more amphibian characteristics, as if they were half one and half the other. A detail on their face that brings discomfort was the absence of a nose, reminiscent of something like Voldemort, for example. They were large creatures, over 10 meters tall and 15 meters long, having an elongated tail like a mermaid's. But that will all seem like nothing when you find out about their behavior. That's because, guys, the Ninyan are known to attack ships and attack humans. But hey, they're smart, making traps using the remains of victims to lure sailors. Which means, you can understand that it's as if it were our species acting with pure intelligence to strike out there, right? Ikuturso Leaving Japan and heading to Finland now, 
There we find perhaps one of the legendary creatures. That is, well, it is most terrifying in concept. Did you notice that half of the video we talked about more creatures that we could possibly find? Now, we're talking a little about legendary beings, but it's precisely to give some more mystical content to this video, okay? No wonder the creature I'm going to talk about now is one of the five legendary creatures of the oceans that are the most present in cultures around the world. And after understanding what he does in particular, look, you'll be part of the group that fear this monster too, see? Well, the Ecoterso would be a prehistoric monster that looks like a giant squid, but it has a body that is more reminiscent of a dinosaur. They are voracious predators that are illusions to capture their prey. Its back has several spines and a shape that when put together looks like an island. This causes marine animals as well as birds and humans to end up approaching it only to be surprised by tentacles. But hey, despite that, it's not known to actively hunt humans. It only ends up doing this to those who fall into its trap. And that's where his true terror lies. Well, imagine you're a sailor lost in the middle of the ocean, desperate to find solid ground, when you notice something in the distance. But just as they approach, their vessel is attacked by a sea monster. Tell me if this isn't a story that could scare anyone, even more so at the time it was created, right? It's like the creature from the previous topic, who abused vulnerabilities to come out on top. Kalu Palik Finally, we have Kalu Palik. It is a legendary creature that is part of the Inuit culture and would be a humanoid being with the appearance of fish, which circulates through coastal regions, preying on small animals such as fish and birds. But look, one of the appetizers they tend to like a lot is human babies causing some to even invade villages of riverside populations to kidnap their children. What is curious about this legend is that the Kalupaliks are beings with a description and behavior that is very similar to that of mermaids, which is a legend that is believed to have originated in the region of Italy. That is, it is almost as if these people were encountering creatures of the same species in different places. And then, they put different names and started explaining their behavior from a different cultural perspective as well. Well, the fact is, a lot of people actually believe in mermaids. What about you? Do you believe in them? Leave it here in the comments. Guys, this video will end here. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video then. A hug, stay well, and see you next time. Thanks.